Okay, Hitman. And don't let that title confuse you. This is not connected to the popular video game franchise. In fact, there's a space in between the word hit and man. I'm guessing that is to make sure you know that this is not connected to that. With that in mind, let's talk about this movie. Okay, so this movie premiered last week on Netflix. This is a Netflix original movie, and it stars Glenn Powell and Adria Arjona. If I said your name wrong, sweetie, I apologize, but I am just not good with names. Anyway, this movie is about a guy who pretends to be a hitman for the police department. His whole gig is getting people to hand over the money and convince them to commit the crime. So he's not actually a hitman, which is something I didn't know going into this movie because I didn't watch the trailer. It can be pretty cool to watch a movie without watching the trailer first. It lets you go in with a mystery. You kind of don't know what the heck to expect and you just get to experience every scene for the first time. Something I recommend trying out. I know that it helps to understand if you want to watch the movie or not, but you can read the synopsis, and if you see a star that you like or you see the synopsis, that should be good enough to decide if you want to watch the movie. But if you want to watch the trailer, by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm just saying I did not for this movie, and it led to some surprises. Glenn Powell playing a fake hitman. This really is an interesting premise, and it allows him to really showcase his range as an actor because you'll see in the movie, each of the people that hire him for these contracts are expecting something different. Everyone has their own mindset of what a hitman is supposed to act like and sound like. And so he does his research. He looks into the people and he finds out what is this person expecting? Are they expecting, you know, a cool suave guy? Are they expecting this kind of a guy? You know, so he gets to play with a lot of different types of characters. He gets to dress up and he has a lot of fun. You can tell that he is enjoying playing some of these roles. He clearly is having his 24 minutes of fame in Hollywood and it's working out pretty well for him. He's getting in front of a lot of audiences and a lot of people are becoming familiar with him. As a matter of fact, we have another big blockbuster coming out this year that's going to have him as well. And that is called Twisters. It's a sequel to the 1990 something movie. Uh, it looks a little campy possibly a bit over the top and ridiculous. I am excited to see it, not just because of Glenn Powell, but because the original movie does hold a special part in my heart. Anyways, let's get back to this movie. So his main co-star in this movie is Adria Arjona. She plays a woman who is desperate to get out of a bad marriage, and she decides that she's going to hire Glenn Powell's character to get rid of her husband. It's a very interesting way to first meet a love interest, and that is kind of what spawns the whole story. And so her presence is super key to the movie, and I think she does a fantastic job. She plays this role with a lot of compassion, and you really start to empathize with her character because we've all heard about women who are stuck in bad relationships. And so, yes, it's not right to hire someone to kill the person, Person, you should just walk out the door, but it is easy to understand what someone can do and how desperate someone can get when you feel trapped. So I thought she did a fantastic job. I really enjoyed seeing her in this movie. I think that it would be very interesting to see more stuff with her. I haven't seen her IMDb, so I don't know what else she's been in. Now, this movie is directed by Richard Linklater, who, if you are not familiar with him, he made the movie Dazed and Confused. He also made a movie a few years ago called Boyhood that I really thought was something special. That movie was filmed over the span of 12 years. It is unheard of. No one has ever done anything like that before and probably never will. You get to see these characters growing up throughout the movie, and it's the same actors every single moment and that is something that is very unique this man has a great eye for direction and storytelling and he is perfect for a movie like this that's balancing characters that's balancing humor that's trying to keep you entertained and make you care about the people as much as you are laughing and Richard Linklater excels at that and I think he is a fantastic director he makes this movie work really well. By the way, if you're someone who's not into romance movies, don't get worried. This is not a sappy love story. This is no notebook. Sorry, Ryan Gosling. There's definitely certain people that like that. I'm just saying that this movie isn't super heavy on the romance. It is a romantic movie. They have some kind of chemistry between each other, but there is a lot of other stuff going on in this movie. This movie will make you laugh. There's some intense stuff going on because there is some secrets that are bubbling up. You have the mystery. You've got the intrigue. Glenn Powell is just really trying to keep things under wraps. He's trying to make sure people don't find out that he's a fake hitman. So that creates some interesting chemistry and some fun scenes that really elevate this movie. By the way, we have Retta in this movie. Retta is from Parks and Recreation. If you haven't seen her in a while, you'll be glad to see that she is in this movie. She also has a TV show, by the way, if you haven't seen it. It's called Ugliest House in America. That's something worth checking out if you are a fan of HGTV or just Retta in general. Something to think about. Anyway, for me, this movie is a 7 out of 10. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's not reinventing the wheel by any means, but it's a solid entertaining movie that will pass your time by and you are going to enjoy watching this movie. I think that there are worse movies out there for sure in this genre and there are better movies out there. 
We'll see. This movie is skating right in between. That's a pretty good place to hang out, especially if you don't want to alienate certain audiences and you want to appeal to a wide range of people. I think this movie will appeal to a wide range of people. So with that being said, did you see this movie? Do you plan on seeing it? If you saw it, please put your thoughts on it in the comments. Did you like this video? If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you want to hear more opinions from me, then you should subscribe to this channel. And that's all I have to say. Later. Later.